and welcome along to the first in a series of video guides to the Precision Farming DLC for Farming Simulator 19. Uh, this first video we will be an overview of the DLC covering what precision farming is, how it has been developed for Farming Simulator 19 and a general overview of some of the functionality and features that it adds to the game. So what is precision farming? Precision farming, also known as precision agriculture or smart farming, uses modern technology to improve agricultural efficiency, making farming more sustainable by producing more crops and using less resources. This lowers the environmental impact of farming while helping the farmer to operate a more efficient farm and benefiting the consumer buying the crops. This works by employing various technological solutions such as drones, satellites, onboard computers and GPS and agricultural robots using various sensors, software applications and machine learning. This is all connected together to monitor, analyze and apply the farm's resources in the most optimal way, saving time, fuel, seed, chemicals and other consumables. Everything from soil quality to previous crops to a variety of other environmental influences are taken into consideration to allow decision making easier and a quicker response to challenges, with sensors able to determine many useful factors such as temperature, moisture, biomass, disease development and more. All this is documented and analysed in seconds using artificial intelligence to suggest improvements for future crop rotations and helping farmers to make informed decisions that raise the yield of their crops while also lowering the impact on the environment. Now you have the basics of what precision farming is, let's take a look at how this has been integrated into Farming Simulator 19. The Precision Farming DLC has been developed by Giant Software as a project with John Deere and EIT Food, along with the University of Hohenheim in Germany and the University of Reading in the UK. It is planned that many features of Precision Farming will be added to the module over the two year lifespan of the project, starting with heterogeneous fields and soil types. This will allow you to analyze the soil, manage different zones using variable rate technologies and optimize your crops with real-time analysis of both yield and economic results. While we will go into how each of these aspects of the DLC work in more detail in later videos, let's take a quick overview of how this works now. The first stage is to take soil samples. These are taken using the Isaria Scout, which attaches to the rear of the John Deere Gator. This sampling unit is fully automated and so can be operated from the driver's seat as you travel the field sampling the soil in a 25 meter radius. Once you have taken enough samples from the field, you send them for analysis and this will return the soil properties for the area you have sampled, showing the areas as a varying map of four soil types. Loamy sand, sandy loam, loam and silty clay. Sampling and analyzing the soil also returns the pH and nitrogen levels for your soil and these will need to be carefully managed in order to optimize your yield. pH values are managed using lime and a lime spreader and each soil type requires a different application of lime for optimum results. This can be done using automatic mode which will dynamically adjust the levels or manual mode which will require you to adjust them yourself on the fly. Thankfully there is also a new indicator under the F1 help menu to help you aim for the right value. Once you have the pH values under control with the lime it's time to do the same with the nitrogen levels. This is done using fertilizer and just like the lime this can be done in automatic or manual modes. With precision farming which fertilizer you use also has a different effect. With the application of manure or slurry first for some crops helping to reduce the application rate and cost of mineral fertilizer later as you adjust the nitrogen level to match the target for your crop as it grows. Once the pH and nitrogen levels are good and you've removed any weeds the crops can grow until ready for harvest 
and precision farming has information here too. As you harvest the yield for your field is recorded in real time and displayed on the minimap. You also get a full economic analysis for each field under the precision farming tab with everything from the number of samples you took to the amount of seeds, fertilizer and fuel used is displayed to give you the full picture. So that's your brief introduction to precision farming for Farming Simulator 19. Please check back tomorrow when we will take a first look at the DLC itself and what is contained within it. And then later in the week, we'll have a closer look at the individual parts of the DLC and how they work. For now though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.